In tech news, this got a lot of attention today. Leaders of the biggest social media companies in the world were on Capitol Hill in D.C. facing criticism from parents and lawmakers who say that their social media platforms are dangerous, dangerous for children. And during a Senate hearing, lawmakers grilled the tech CEOs on their efforts to protect young people from their websites. That's right. Not all the CEOs were willing participants. The leaders of Snapchat, Discord, and X had to be subpoenaed. And NBC's Drew Petromo is on Capitol Hill with this story. In a Senate hearing room packed with family members who say their kids were harmed by social media. How many more kids like Matthew? Like Olivia. Like Riley. How many more kids will suffer and die because of social media? The CEOs of Meta, TikTok, X, and other social media platforms facing the anger of lawmakers increasingly concerned about the impact of their companies on the lives of young people. Their constant pursuit of engagement and profit over basic safety have all put our kids and grandkids at risk. The companies before us, I know you don't mean it to be so, but you have blood on your hands. You have a product. The social media executives say they are stepping up measures to protect their users, working with law enforcement and using AI to identify harmful content. Safety is one of the core priorities that defines TikTok under my leadership. We currently have more than 40,000 trust and safety professionals working to protect our community globally. Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg pressed to apologize to families in the room. They're here. You're on national television. Would you like now to apologize to the victims who have been harmed by your product? Show them the pictures. Would you like to apologize for what you've done to these good people? Lawmakers and parents argue they are not doing enough to stop problems like child exploitation and drug dealing on their platforms. I'm so tired of this. It's been 28 years, what, since the Internet. We haven't passed any of these bills because everyone's double talk, double talk. It's time to actually pass them. The push for change coming from both sides of the aisle, but the deep-pocketed social media companies are powerful and hold considerable sway. Drew Petromo, NBC News, Washington. Democratic Chairman Dick Durbin called this a moment of reckoning and urge a vote on legislation to protect children on social media.